I was just thinking about the night of your class reunion. Yeah. Some night. I learned a lot about you. What? Mary Francis, the class nerd. That there's a very secret part of yourself that you don't want to share with anybody else unless you feel close to them. You know what I remember about that night? You dancing me around the room. All of a sudden, all of those people had to look at me in a new way. What I could never do for myself, you did. It wasn't me. It was a magic night. Yes, it was. But the magic came to an abrupt halt when I found the ceiling again. I was as unpleasantly surprised as you were. <laughs> and then, when you said all of that stuff about taking up with Cecile because you were trying to avoid your feelings... Aren't you doing the same thing? What? You said tonight that you don't want to fall in love with me again. Aren't you using Cecile to do just that? No. Frankie, we both know that nothing important happened between me and Cecile. She's gone now, and I'm here with you, which is exactly where I want to be. Why are you fighting everything? You know what I did that night? You said that you were going over to Charlene's. Yeah, well, I uh, couldn't do that, so... I walked and walked and tried to convince myself that nothing had happened to us. So what did it matter that you were alone to see on the But something did happen. I don't think you're prepared for how much that might meant to me. It meant a lot to me, too. No. Not enough. It couldn't have meant the same thing. <sighs> Talking to you like that. Holding you. It was... Intimate. Yeah. I don't think I've ever felt that way before. I don't think I've ever felt that someone knew me that well. And then when I left you with Cecile... Yes, I would rather say goodbye to you. And find out that you went from that... to sleeping with her. Scum. I am. The lowest form of scum. Frankie? Who are... What are you doing here? It's Christmas Eve. Where else am I going to be? ghost of Winthrop past. Like the change, babe? I think I look pretty good. What are you doing here? It's a good thing I showed up. You're about to sentence yourself to life. With Frankie? With Frankie? Of course with Frankie, you idiot. You think she's gonna hang around and stand for this? Only a couple of nights a week stuff? Forget hey, about it. I know. Hey, you got a good thing going here, Bubala. Caroline once in a while. Cecile, whenever she comes through town. Anybody else you you like, then why do I keep going after Frankie? Beats me. If I were you, which I am, I'd come clean about you and Cecile. Avoid the whole issue. You? You never told the truth in your whole life. Oh, I did too. Yeah, when it served your purpose. But you're above that, huh? I have grown, you know. That's growth. Going crazy over a woman who can't understand one little night with Cecile? So she's sensitive, and I'm not? Listen to me, Dorcas. If you think I'm in chains, imagine what life would be like with Frankie. Who are you? I can't hear you. I can't hear anything else but her. What, Frankie? Sure, dear, I'll pick up the kids after school. Kids? They can go with me to pick up that mulch for the garden. Mulch for the garden? You think she'll settle for anything less than that? You got her all wrong. Yeah, sure I do. Even if you don't. What's so great about living over your office alone? 
What's so great about having a different woman every night? Oh, you're in big trouble, Winthrop. I think you should tell her about you and Cecile and get out while you still can. What if I don't want out? What do I do? I? Hey, now there's a stupid idea. What do I do? Talking to me. I wasn't talking. Uh, I was waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs>